welcome back to part two of Wicklow County Matters. We're now going to talk to Rod Coyne about his 1916 commemorative collection. This is my friend Barney, he's the gallery manager. You mentioned that we all as kids splash around in, in canvas and, and we're loving drawing, but there's many devices around nowadays that, that take away from that. So how would you encourage children to get back to the natural ways? Ah, that's interesting. an interesting question because I, I, I have young kids myself. And we're going to find out about the 1916 movie titled Freedom. And even I noticed that this is obviously Porrick Pierce reading the proclamation to the Irish yeah. Republic. And just like it, what happened 100 years ago, some people are ignoring uh, what he's actually saying. He's got his supporters behind him there. Have a look towards the end. There's a special treat in there too. Paul Shoyga here. Join us again in part two for more fascinating 1916 stories. So the 1916 Rising, it was which, wherever you got the weapons from. Wherever you could get them from, American, British, French, uh, Russian, anything, you know. Tonight we're celebrating Monteith, of course, Casement and Bailey. But do you think the relatives of the people that reported these men landing in Banastrand in Kerry will be there for the celebrations? I'm going to tell you something now I found out last week. Call here with Jamie from Pontoon and County Mayo. We're here at Mayo Day Live on Sky 191 at 10pm tonight. Jamie, tell us about the song you're playing. Uh, the song I'm playing tonight is called The Truth Is Not Your Own. It won a major songwriting competition last year and um, I suppose that's why I'm here. It's an absolute honour to be part of Mayo Day and on Irish TV as well. It's an absolute privilege. Watching the clips from the roads to get a bit of goosebumps. I'm not going to lie. If anybody caught me, I was like... <laughs> The new show gets around the 32 counties and it gets to showcase some of the, some of the counties that might be forgotten. What do, you, what do you think about that? 